hello friends. How's everybody doing? Hope you got a beverage, you guys. This one is a level four. Fancy as frogs. 24 karat. This is in Coco Japan. The link to Anna's group where I order my in Coco Japan is always down below in the um where I have all the links in the description. And this is the only now I would totally get a yellow gold if we had one. Oh, excuse me. But we don't, and I don't think we've had one since Ostentatious, which was quite a while ago. So, this is a current set. This one's from 2021, but it is something is readily available there with Anna. Um, Starfall. Beauty. Eat your heart out. Is that right? Yeah. This is old Pep Rally, and I'm using this versus Botanical Breeze, even though I think Botanical Breeze would have went great with this, but I wanted actual glitter. Um, the glitter in Botanical Breeze is matte, and I just wanted the actual spark. And then Sucker Punch. So this is Josie's grad, graduation. I did this backwards. Hang on, let me flip it so I don't get it messed up. Graduation Manny. Um, I asked what colors he wanted and he said kilowatt. Because I said, I'm using black. You just tell me what you want your like accent color or whatever to be. And he said kilowatt, which is definitely one of his favorites, not one of mine. He likes the pastels. I don't love the pastels, you guys. I don't like the way Kilowatt looks on my hands. So I said, showed this one and said, can I sub in Sucker Punch for Kilowatt? Yep. So here we are. Sucker Punching. <laughs> if I couldn't, um, if I could get away with it, I otherwise I was going to use Sally Hansen Groove. But I like the, um, ugh. I like the glitter in this one too, so I'll be able to cover that up. I'm not worried. So first we're going to go through, bust out Miss Lance real quick, and then we're going to get it. Oh girl, we're going to get it. I got, um, a bunch of punches out. We're, we're going to get fancy. So we're going on Saturday down like Southern Minnesota to the cousin's graduation also. So I got lots of graduation action going. So here we go. I'm ready. Well, I'm not ready yet, but I will be. And I'm doing these, what day is it? Well, technically it's Wednesday because it's after midnight. But for me, it's Tuesday night in my head. Because I wanted to be able to get a picture of these in the, as the thumbnail. So I figured I better get them done tonight so I could take the picture tomorrow. So here we are. That's what we're doing, friends. And I'm excited. Oh my gosh, is it not long enough? I do have down... Hang on. I want a pretty nice... A pretty wide slant there to really show off sucker punch um I put down this pink armor again again super happy with it you guys uh, I won't know you know for many a month if it's really like changing my nails as a whole but for right now I'm happy with how it's holding the sets 
and smoothing my base. And there's something, I don't know, if you've ever used a nail whitener, like a nail whitening base coat. I tried one ages ago. And there's something in it, I want to say maybe a tint of blue. Anyway, there's something in it that gives your nails the appearance of being whiter, even though, you know, nothing's actually changed. They're not actually whiter. This also says it has a nail whitening appearance, and I do think it does a little, you know, makes them look um, a little smoother. Nothing too crazy that I've noticed yet, but tomorrow will be the first time that I have used this and will be like, well, who knows if there will be any sun. We've had rain here for days, you guys. Uh, hopefully, I'll be in the sun and can see, like, how it looks in the sun. Because there's definitely almost a tint of the blue I feel like I could see when I wore it. So we'll see if that holds true with this also. Sucker Punch is going on lovely. I do have my warming mat on, you guys, because it's a little bit cold and dreary here. And I just wanted to make sure everything went on to the best of its abilities. I did do cuticle care beforehand or proximal nail folding cuticle care. Oh my gosh, you guys, something magical happened. <gasps> I can't believe I was almost going to forget to tell you this. Okay, um, last summer maybe when mom was here. We were uh, sitting on the deck watching the hummingbirds be cute. Because they really are cute. And um, she was like, how often do you change their juice or whatever? I said, either when they drink it all or when they tell me to change it. And she just laughed like, yeah, when they tell you to change it. And I said, no, they come and dance around me when they're ready. Okay, now this is last year, you guys. Now, a couple days ago, I'm out on the deck um, with beef. And hummingbird comes flying over literally within five inches or closer to my face and gave me wing flaps like I could feel the breeze on my face, you guys. And I said, do you need fresh juice? <laughs> and he just flapped around in front of my face like we're besties. Because we are. And so I grabbed it and swapped out his juice, put it in the fridge for a bit to let it get cool. And put it back out. And he was happy guy. Then later that day, I was doing... The, you see this? Oh, it's so fun. Pep Rally is just like a little party, you guys. Um, oh no. Is it, oh no. Okay, debate. It's pretty dry, friends. Yeah, like it, I don't want to do that. I don't want to risk it. Like, can I tinker with it, doctor it? make it work, I can, but I just don't want to, like, I don't want to mess with these, you guys, I don't want to take any chances, hang on, I've got other options, oh yeah, 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 we can do this one, because I love it, Ooh, if I can get it out, that'll be super fun, Super fun. Electric Orbit. And that is 
a box one. Little squares in pink and silver, pink and hollow. Um, okay, anyway, so then I was doing the bird's cage and um, I wanted to pick them some fresh branches to put in because they dig that. This is getting moved to my dry nail strip pile that can go in a keychain. Um, <clears throat> so I was picking crab apple branches by the deck. And my little guy came over and just flew around me and made his little cheek, 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 cheek. He was so happy that he had fresh juice, you guys. Like, we're actual best friends. Yeah, we are. <laughs> what do I want here? I just need one. So anyway, there's my magical story for you. Um, whenever, <laughs> when Josie and I go out and do the bird feeders, like all around the deck, there's bird feeders and hummingbird feeder and oriole feeder, which I have a lot of orioles this year and I'm loving it. Um, but we also have a ton of, that's got heat back up, a ton of suet feeders because we have a lot of woodpeckers here like loads of them and whenever we go out and fill stuff Josie will unwrap suets for me as I'm like filling stuff back up right and then when I get all done I do some like Disney princess oh, 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 you know to call in my critter friends <laughs> And Josie said, I'm starting to think you really are a Disney princess. <laughs> I said, I am too. <laughs> They're just happy that I'm feeding them. That's the reality. <laughs> and I know I've said before, your hummingbirds know you. Like they recognize human faces from ear to ear. So as long as you keep their feeder in the same spot and keep it full. They're happy. Well, I do spend a lot of... I like to sit on the deck with Beef. He likes to lay in the patio chair and get his little head pet, you know. And I drink morning coffee out there. I drink afternoon coffee out there. I cook on the grill, you know, all the good stuff. In the nice weather make top coats they probably don't appreciate that too much okay yeah that was a perfect little replacement and a little less busy to be honest hang on yeah that's hot let's seal that up so i don't forget i love that set it's such a cute one it's one of those things where i'm not going to use the whole shebang on every hand but that's good for cute little accent. Um, okay, what else has been going on? The boys' birthdays were good. Today, Beef was eating some snacks. When he came in from outside and and thought it would be cool to bite his little tail. He bites his tail in his butt all the time, you guys, because he's the devil. I said, you have got to stop. You are a big boy now. You're one years old. He was like, no, I'm a toddler. And toddlers bite. I'm not a big boy now. So, I mean, I would ask if anybody knew how to get their cat to not bite their other cat, but... I feel like it's kind of <laughs> lost cause. <laughs> oh, Lord. And poor little Beef's like, oh, Mom, you bit my tail. Like I was a corn on the cob and I'm not. 
The birds love their fresh branches, by the way. They're like, oh, it's that season again, lady. Soon enough, we'll get grapevines and grape leaves. Soon enough, baby, soon enough. I've been puzzling. Well, I got all the ruckus stuff packed and sent out. And then... Ugh, I got... All of the loyalty stuff done for Shannon. And now I've been puzzling. This puzzle is giving me a headache. <laughs> Not really. But it's frustrating me. And it's one for um, the puzzle thing over in the group I'm in, Casual Puzzler. I also have her linked up on the front page. Or on my page. Um... And it's, the prompt is a shaped puzzle. And I have, I got a bunch of these. Let me show you. I mean, it's a beauty, right? Marie gave me this. And, well, I think this one. Maybe it was a different one. Anyway, like these are all little cutouts. But in order to make those cutouts happen... There's loads of tiny pieces that connect. And then these colors are more alike than I anticipated. And just making each of these little cutouts happen. Lordy. Lordy. And then to like top it all off, the lady who had done it originally um, had not taken the, like hadn't popped the pieces out, right? So I'm assuming when she got it, the pieces were all where they were meant to be, but perforated or whatever. And she had not, they were all in the box still. <laughs> so first I went through and got rid of all the pieces that were the guts to each of the pop-outs because that would really mess you up, I think. And now I'm wondering if she just did the whole damn thing without ever... You know, she didn't do it the way it was intended, is my guess. But, now I know why. Because <laughs> it's only 750 pieces. 750 pieces should not take me as long as this guy's taking me, you guys. So, it's okay. I've only got till June 1st to finish this one. Uh, that and one other one. And the other prompt is... um one you've been avoiding and I've been avoiding it because I felt like it was boring but I think that that is going to be my saving grace because I think I'll bump through it real quick <laughs> famous last words I'm sure but so I've got to get those done Josie and I were going to get well we went to get a pedicure on Friday for last day of school and go out to lunch and they had double booked. And they're like, oh, one of you can still go. I'm like, really? Come on. Let's be realistic here. Dingleberry. I didn't tell them they were a Dingleberry, but trust, I thought it. Um, so we rescheduled. We're doing that. I think on Thursday was what we did. And I like quadruply checked. Two people, two people, two people, two spots, two spots. Listen, buddy, because if I show up and you don't tell me you got two spots saved, I'm going to Kung Fu Panda your ass. So, they better. Because i got a lot going on this weekend, you guys. i got to have banging nails and banging toenails. Come on. It's not that often that I am out in the wilds. Seeing people. <laughs> I gotta have nice, nice nails for it. Lord. My go-to color is like a glittery black. Like basically Starfall, right? Oh, but I was gonna go for um, like a Maui Mystic type blue. 
type of blue. But now, okay, I always go with black because it's going to go with no matter what I do, right? But, and blue, I don't want blue going with these nails. And it's not like I'm going to go get a petty and then change it, you know, a week later. I better stick with black. There's a reason I go glitter black. I just like it to match, that's all. I like things to match. It's kind of... And a glitter black goes with everything I do. I mean, A, I use Starfall a lot. <laughs> but also, just in general, it'll go with everything. So that'll be Thursday. Um, and tomorrow's Wednesday. And that's therapy and errand day. Okay, let's bring out all my Kutraman day. Alright, I think I need... I don't know what I need. I know I need a bit. <laughs> Alright, let's start here. Um, I think I want to leave the plastic on just to see what will happen here. First of all, I got this teeny baby spiral. Now, remember I tried to use this with um that's not gonna work with the gel sets and it wouldn't cut through them. I wanted to leave the plastic on there, you guys, to give me that, like, support. I feel like I should not try to use that now. It's not going to do what I want it to do. I wonder if it can cut through all of this. Let's see. Really do got to use your thumbs. Okay. Close. It was close. Get back here. These little spirals just feel like a confetti party to me. But I know having that plastic on there would give them a little stability to help me place it well, you know what I mean? Oh, not too bad. Not too shabby, Stacy. Not too shabby. Okay. Correct that. Now. Oh crap. I'm going to get mad if I have to get out more Starfall. And I might have to. I'm wondering if. I can do a partial spiral. Nope. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> well, I can because I'll just place it like a partial spiral. Okay, now, <laughs> this is, I'm very excited for the next part. Let's use this guy, Let's see if we can, because I only need one punch of this, 
This is a little brick wall. Um, probably only need about well, that many bricks. <laughs> There's a little cute brick wall. And then I'm trying to grip it roughly in the middle. Well, yay. So my plan was to make little like square confettis just because that's fun. But it works even better now with this electric orbit because it also has square confettis. So it'll mimic it. I mean, I planned that. That's what I meant to say. Aw. Cute. You guys, doesn't that look like a party? Okay. Hang on. Oh, so cute. That was my drawing. I can't fit that many on there, but I love it as is. Do I ever, do I ever love it, you guys? Okay, now, let's see. Let's cut one more of these in half. And some more spiraling. Let's see if we can get spirals out of here well even one and a half would be plenty <laughs> it's so hard to do with my pointer my pointer is not strong there's one and then Remember, this one only has to be partial, but I think it's going to be full anyway. Just because it's an overachiever. Where to go? Oh, right there. Okay. Beauty. Now, I'm not sure if this one... It might be a little shorter. So, also, you know, oh Lord, everything's harder on my other hand, you guys. And yes, I understand it's not my nail fee hand, but we need, we need better than that this round. Because people are going to actually see both hands. <laughs> Against my better judgment. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. And now some of that will get filed, but it'll still have plenty there, I believe. And then... This little thing is perfect. Who is it made by? You know, that's got panty fur on it. Patent number... Oh, yep. EK Success. I think that's what it says. EK, yep, EK success. They make a lot of good punches. The little brick is, is cute. And this one, Marvy Uchida. This one's awesome. And it's tiny. Obviously, if it's fitting, if I'm able to fit two of them, you guys, you know that means is definitely tiny.
Okay. And then I'm going to use my tweezers to clean that bottom. Oh my gourds, I love it. So cute. So cute. Whoops. Now we need to put a couple little square dots on there. The thumb. The thumb is where my worry comes in. Because <laughs> we're free-handing. Oh, Lord. Josie better appreciate these beauties. No, Josie does appreciate all my beauties. Every single time I do my nails, I'll say, you ready? Oh, so cute. Every time. Could be a lie. <laughs> just be saying that but I'll take it okay now I gotta pull up my little picture here I practiced this last night with like um oh my god it's so cute I practiced it with a piece of paper <laughs> Which is, you know, not really the same, but we'll pretend. <laughs> and I don't have um, a picture, like, that anybody's done. What I have is just, uh, like, a clip art, a black and white drawing of a graduation cap, you guys. So, should be enough. Alright, let's get our green on. Suck a punch. Now, I need you to go on as beautifully as you've ever went on in your life. Just to be no messing around right now. You got it? I got it. I mean, he did say he got it, but it doesn't mean anything, you guys. Trying to tuck them under so we get some of our best coverage known to man. And then I'm going to use my squasher because I'm not using a overly here or anything. Also, I'm not doing like you know, random messy art here. I'm trying to make a, well, I'm going to try to make a grad cap, so. Worked out actually pretty good. It's so hard to get a nice line along here, at least for me. Okay. Stack nail stuff on there. I might be off camera. It's okay. All right. Now, okay, let's see. First of all, let's get rid of the bricks because we don't need that now. All right.
I don't know how big I'm needing to make it. This is the problem as always. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's the top of the hat. Hang on. Let's get something down so you guys can see what I'm doing. My biggest problem always is I don't know how big to cut stuff, you guys. Like, in my head, I have a bigger workspace than what I actually have. Fact. That's a fact. Okay. Hey, that's really good. All right, all right, all right. Now... squared off okay all right so let's do come here oh lordy don't be an irritating little... <laughs> there we go. He's just a little guy. Put that there. And then a diamond-ish shape. There. No. Oh no. I'll fix it. And then. Get off me. Alright, hang on. I'm going to have to do some doctoring and that's always dangerous. But, such as it is. If I hate this, you guys, tomorrow, I can take the thumbs off and fix them. I think it just had to appear... I'm getting mad at it. I'm getting mad at it now. It's when you'll do your best work is when you get mad at it. Oh, I think this is going to be better. Okay. I think it's better. I gotta look at it. I don't know. Alright, let that one sit a minute. Let's work on this one. 
and this one. I'm going to do right here and see if that helps any. You don't need it to be quite so tall. Okay, slightly rounded bottom. <laughs> and then... diamond hat or diamond top I mean I'm gonna have a heck of a mess all the best art has to have a mess Oh, okay. What? Yeah, <laughs> what's your name? Now, why couldn't I get that one to do that? Biscuit! Okay. Hang on. Bear with me, friends. Now, I think I'm going to double layer this. Just by cutting it down. Because we're only using just very, very teeny piece of... Um, the gold. And it's not blazing sheer, but I feel like I want it to be a little more bolder. I like it when it's a little well. I broke it in half with my tweezer. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now and this guy, I'm not using it like overlay style. I just want to steal a little heart. Huh. Oh, yes. Oh, it's adorable. It is adorable, and now I know how to do it. So, I mean, that's part of the battle for me, you guys. Gotta get my, gotta get my head around the right shapes. Like, whatever the, hang on, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, can you pull it off? You can. Whatever it is that I'm trying to recreate, First thing first is like break it down into shapes in my head and then cut the shapes out and hopefully get them together somewhat accurately. There we go. Okay. I didn't want that little heart to get lost straight off the end, but I forgot this nail is a good bit shorter than the other one. Okay, so now listen, I'm not going to do this right now. Because I know this is probably already long. 
Also, if you made it this long, you guys, there's a bunny rabbit video attached to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, get out my rubber gloves, remove just this finger, wash it up, pull out another thumb, build this on this finger, which you'll see in the, um, you'll see in the pictures that both hands are ready for graduation. <laughs> oh Lord. And then, um, I will probably put some heat on these just to make sure all my little layers are set up. And then lastly, tomorrow morning when I get up, I will put a uh, gelish top coat on them. Oh, and they'll be good. They'll be super gorgeous and glassy. Even though, like, application-wise, you guys, they went on beautifully. I flip and love it. Okay, so here we go. There's the one with the good hat. And a little heart. And the beautiful slants. I mean, this is going to be good. Josie's going to be wowed. Alright guys, have a good night. See you soon. Come out and see what mama got you. Do I smell them? Oh, they smell good, mom. Come on. Come see. Pen, you're not a bunny. Betty girl. Look what mama picked. <gasps> oh, you can't pass them up, can ya? Are you going to steal them and take them back in your hidey hole? That's a dandelion, Pan. Boonk, boonk. Oh, Coco says yay. <laughs> There you go. Do they smell good, Pin? <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. Come on out. There you go. Pin, you leave her alone while she's munching. She doesn't want to play right now. Oh no, you stole it from him. <laughs> there's more there. Coco, there's more there. <laughs> you ain't gotta fight for him. Good job. Okay, now we gotta bring some downstairs. <laughs>